Happy Friday, everybody. I'm forecaster Mark Spencer from NeilWeather.com with your forecast for Friday, April 26, 2013. Well, plenty of sun today. It'll be a little bit warmer than yesterday. Overall, a pleasant week in the store. We'll detail that and our warmer temperatures in store for you next week. Get all the details and more starting right now. Quiet once again this morning on a Neoweather 3D Max Doppler radar. Sunny skies out there across the entire area. It's a cold one though this morning. 7 a.m. temperatures we're looking at here. We're at uh, 36 downtown Cleveland, 31 at Cleveland Hopkins, uh, 32 Lorraine, Ravenna, and Youngstown, as well as Dover, New Philadelphia, 31 in Ashtabula, 35 Akron to Canton, and 31 in Mansfield. Cold spots this morning are, uh, well, there's the Akron Fulton Airport there near downtown Akron at 29 and Worcester at 29 degrees as well. Could be even be a few degrees cooler outside of those areas outside of town. So it's a very chilly start, but we'll warm up decently today. Uh, high temperatures will be in the middle to upper 50s, still a little bit below normal, but very pleasant with plenty of sunshine to go around today. Uh, so let's take a look across the rest of the region here and uh, see what may be affecting us here uh, coming up in the next couple of days. Well, today will be a great day. Tomorrow will be very nice as well, although we'll see clouds begin to increase from southwest to northeast later in the evening. And this complex of showers and storms here will be moving our way Saturday night and into early Sunday morning. That will bring some rain to our area. And then as that clears through, we'll have some leftover showers behind that. Temperatures, while it's still pretty chilly out there this morning across a good part of the country because it is early, but we're in the 50s for the central and uh, parts of the southern plains. Uh, you're more into the 60s as you get down in towards Texas and along the Gulf Coast. 70s as you get into Florida. Not too bad along the uh, east coast. They're in the upper 40s to low 50s for the uh, coastal areas. And then just inland, you're in the upper 30s. So really not too bad all in all. Quiet out that way. No really significant weather to speak of there. Uh, not really much in the, in the way of significant weather up into the northern plains, mainly just chilly. Similar temperatures to here, perhaps a little bit of isolated uh, snow showers across parts of North Dakota. But that's really about it for the most part. No significant systems to speak of that are uh, developing or tracking our way. Just that complex of showers and storms over uh, Missouri that will make its way here come Saturday evening. Our high yesterday was 52 degrees, which was 11 degrees below the average. The low was 32. Our average low was 44. We had a little bit of frost and some ice out there yesterday morning. Our record high today, 87. The record low, 26. Early in the morning, we had 0.14 inches of rainfall, which leaves us at 3.25 inches for the month and just shy of 10 inches for the year. Sunrise is at 6.31 a.m. and sunset is at 8.19 p.m. Our pollen forecast for today tree pollen well into the high category today courtesy of pollen.com very low grass pollen and of course no weed pollen that is out of season right now with that our forecast for today features plenty of sunshine temperatures right around 60 degrees i think we're coming a couple degrees below that and maybe a little bit cooler near the lakeshore winds will be out of the south about 5 to 10 miles per hour start your morning off at 8 a.m at uh, 37 degrees and sunny skies 50 at 11 a.m., 55 at 2 p.m., and 57 by 5 p.m. Overnight tonight, we'll drop down into the 30s again. We get down to about 36 degrees, so the light south wind uh, temperatures, as you can see, drop pretty steadily through the night, thanks to the clear skies across the area. And that's courtesy of high pressure moving in, and we'll see that going into Saturday as well with morning sun uh, late afternoon. We will see an increase of the clouds ahead of the next system. We'll see rain move in overnight Saturday night and into Sunday, unfortunately. I'm going with 55 for Sunday, but we could do a few better than that. We'll have to keep an eye on the latest forecast. For your Monday, Tuesday, not too bad though. Partly cloudy skies, 70 for Monday, 73 for Tuesday, and we do one better than that on Wednesday, 74 as clouds increase later in the day ahead of a strong cold front is going to move through. We'll see some rain early Thursday morning and then storms along the uh, front Thursday afternoon. Our high on Thursday 66 but in the afternoon temperatures will fall pretty quickly too from the uh, mid 60s down into the uh, low 40s 
by the time we hit 6, 7 o'clock in the evening, it's going to be cold again for the first weekend of May. And we'll see how long we stick around with the uh, cold weather. Hopefully we get a warm-up. Be sure to stay tuned to NeilWeather.com for the very latest. I'm forecaster Mark Spencer. Thank you for watching. Stay up to date with the latest weather at NeoWeather.com. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. NeoWeather.com, Ohio's home for weather.